This is a story that came out on CNBC today, and it's saying economic costs of the opioid plague, one trillion dollars and growing faster. <laughs> Woo, this is crazy, y'all. That's a lot of money to be pouring into people that don't even want to get off of drugs. The economic cost of the growing opioid plague topped at an estimated $1 trillion from 2001 through 2017, according to an analysis released Tuesday. And the opioid plague is projected to cost the United States an extra $500 billion through 2020. So between 2018 and 2020, they are projecting another $500 billion that it's going to cost the U.S. on all of these junkies out here. Unless sustained action is taken to stem the tide, the report from the Health Research and Consulting Institute, Alterum, said. That's because in recent years, the growing rate in the economic fallout from the plague has sharply accelerated, along with the numbers of overdose deaths related to prescription painkillers and heroin. Alterum said, the greatest cost identified in its analysis comes from the lost earnings and productivity from overdose deaths, estimated at 800,000 per person. Wow. Based on the average age of 41 among overdose victims. So the average person ODing is 41. Interesting. The number of fatal Opioid-related ODs is estimated to have topped 62,500 last year. The analysis also estimates the cost from lost tax revenue to the state and local governments. An additional spending on health care, social services, education, and criminal justice. Health care costs alone related to the crisis reach $217.5 billion from 2001 to 2017, according to the report. Alterum estimate that in 2001, the nation's annual costs from the opioid plague stood at $29.1 billion. Even that's a lot that more than double to 60.9 billion in 2011 and then hit a whopping 115 billion in 2017. Wow. Ooh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> and for a bunch of people that don't even want to get off the drug the growth rate between 2011 and 2016 was doubled the rate observed between the previous five years, the report said. Trump, in a budget proposal released Monday, called for $17 billion in opioid-related spending. Of that, $13 billion is proposed for the Health and Human Services Department to use to combat the opioid plague by expanding access to prevention, treatment, and recovery support services, as well as support for mental health. So there you go. One trillion dollars, y'all. One trillion dollars. They didn't spend one dollar on the crack epidemic, but they've spent one trillion dollars on these junkies out here that don't even want to get off of drugs. <laughs> oh, man. Loss in productivity. That means on these jobs, the jobs are losing productivity because so many of their workers are a bunch of junkies. So there you have it. That's a lot of damn money to be throwing away. That's why Trump did not make this a national emergency, because he knew 
it would have gone, it would have accelerated by, by now if he would have um, put that out there for states to get unlimited federal funding. Are you kidding me? The country would have been broken a month spending it on these people. And the worst part is we're 20 years later, ladies and gentlemen, and this plague is going strong. Okay, it's not like 20 years later, it's slowing down. People are no longer interested in being on drugs. Shoot, they're more interested in being high more than ever before. No end in sight. Please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Join me on Black Junction TV and BlackSpot.com. Peace, family.